you make the clock so you can wear it too. I tell you what, I'm gonna make the watch and then I'll wear the watch while I make the clock. Let's do that. Starting with this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, okay, let's see what we've got in this thing. Let's uh let's take a look see. And the ficus. There we go, that'll do. So we've got two micros for this thing. We've got an ASIC and DS1302, no idea what that does. So this is like the watch pass. We've got some Perspex sheets here, which will somehow assemble into some kind of body. It's gonna go there. This is gonna be a smart watch. <laughs> it's not gonna be smart though. Okay, uh, thanks, Dead Eye. Right, okay. Watch gets removed after five minutes, we'll see. Cool, and we got a selection of other bits and pieces in here. So let's open these bad boys up. There we go. And also I should probably, uh, no, we can we can hold that on starting up the soldering line for a sec. I don't want to burn everything down. Okay, right. They've even given me a battery made by Bexel. There we go, quality equipment. Okay, there's our, there's our board. So there's gonna be a battery holder on there. This is fairly densely populated. Okay, we've got some screws up here. We've got some resistors. We've got, there's our timing crystal. There's not much to this, actually. I think 90% of this is all done in these chips. So this might be a very easy one. And here's our display. So that's how big the display is gonna be. And for reference, that's there. So it's, it's about the size of a normal watch display, I'd guess. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, screen is large because no buttons, yeah. <laughs> Okay, right, one, two, three, four, five. We seem to have an abundance of bolts here, and we've got some caps. Uh, right, what's in our instructions? Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've actually got a full circuit diagram here as well. So, full circuit diagram, there's our layout. So this should be fairly easy. And we've actually got full instructions as well. Okay, we're not doing soldering, we're doing welding. Weld the resistor, crystal, oscillator, and capacitor. Okay, well, let's follow their advice, and let's fire up the soldering iron. Sorry, my welding iron. Uh, we're gonna set, we're gonna set the soldering iron. We're gonna go for 380 degrees, and I've got my medium tip on my WEP 907. That's ready to go. Welding boys, yeah. Make sure you put on an epic mask. <laughs> right, medium tip, why not that? <laughs> I'll give you the whole tip, Mushy. I'll give you my fine tip, spiky boy. Okay, right, uh, we are on teen stream, by the way, so keep it keep it goosey. Um, right, yeah, we're on teen stream, which I forgot for a moment there. Um, so yeah, let's keep it goosey, guys. Right, so um, what did that say? So. Well, the resistor, crystal, oscillator, and capacitor. Um, so we've got a crystal oscillator, uh, resistors. Uh, that's basically everything. That's all the passives they just told us to weld. Fine. Okay, so let's see where this all goes. Okay, there's there's our crystal oscillator. And, oh, this is all labeled on the board, so we don't need this. This is fine. Let's go in. Let's set up for the close shot. Actually, where's my helping hands? Here's my official George helping hands. Please say weld for the rest of the stream. You know what, maybe I will. <laughs> Look at this, my, my helping hands. George sent me these helping hands. These are official George Lee helping hands. We got them. Okay, right, so, not sure if we're gonna need that yet. Let's put it to one side and we'll put the, put that there. Where's my focal point? There it is. Cool. Right. Okay. Let's get going with this with this crystal oscillator. So this guy, this guy is a crystal that keeps the time. So no idea how accurate this thing is going to be. We'll find out. Right now, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that everything is going to be on this top side of the board. I see no reason for it to be anything else. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we're going to put that guy in there. When we're going to give it a little bit of length on the legs. 
because we're going to fold this uh, fold this flat. In fact, I can probably do that now. There we go. Let's do that. Okay, and then let's put that in the helping hands, and then we can start welding. Whack. All right, let's go. Let's do it. First welds. Look at this. We're soldering already, and we are only ten minutes into the stream. You know, the present is represented on your watch by a hairline. It is as thin as possible as is Be nice, you guys. Be nice. Ah. Everybody thinks the present oh, man. The helping hands are in the way. I'm not used to using these much, to be honest. There we go. Is that through the right hole? Oh, yeah, I see that. For a minute, it looked like that was coming through the wrong hole. And I'm not using these helping hands properly at all, because they're in my way. There we go. Crystal oscillator, done. Hello, Queen of Art. How's it going? This is an art f of some kind of form. So yeah, Kimbo finished up her art stream and uh, I'm following it up with my own Tech Tuesday thing. We're making a watch. We're making a, what's probably gonna be a very bad watch. Uh, does it have a picture of the final product? It doesn't. It's, it's, it's gonna be pretty funky though. It's gonna be very strange. Now, okay. Well said, Queen of Art, well said. Okay, there's our crystal oscillator in place. So let's get in our uh, capacitors. So we've got a couple of ceramics here. This guy is labeled 104. There's this super close up shot for you guys playing along at home. Ha, ah, 104. Okay, right, so where does our 104 capacitor go? So we've got resistor, resistor, 10K. Unless they're putting them on the back, no. Oh, there's some capacitor symbols. And I think those might be capacitors. Let's see, I do have instructions, George. I'm just reaching for them. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there we go. So 104. 104 capacitor goes there, as I suspected. And 22p, those are probably the other two capacitors. Those are probably 22 picofarads. 22 puff. Okay, right. Um, right, let's bring the uh, focus in a bit. There we go. Right, okay, so let's stick our 104 in. He's going to go in there. Whoop. And I'm just going to. You can sit right down, actually. I'm probably going to try and keep this thing flat. Stop and look around once okay, in a while. right. You could miss it. In. This soldering iron feels too cold. I'm going to bring the temperature up a little bit. We're on 380. I'm just going to bring it up to 400. I think that will just make things a little bit quicker. Okay, let's get our two little guys in. So here's our other ceramic caps, 22 puff. Right, and those are gonna go there. And there. Right, and also just FYI, Chat's move, um, I don't have my bot turned on at the moment, so if I miss any follows and stuff, yell at me and say welcome to people and that kind of thing, because I'm a bad and I haven't set up a bot on this computer. This is normally my YouTube recording rig, so it doesn't have any interactive stuff on it. Whoop. There we go. Capacitors. Down. And uh, yes, Ferris <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is some chill hop stream. Uh, cool. Right now we need some resistors. How many resistors have we got? We've got four resistors. 
These are all identical, and I know they're going to be identical because they're all on the same reel. So I know they're all going to be the same. So let's get these guys in. And thank, I'm very happy that we've only got four of these because, as you guys will know from our from my previous electronic streams, resistors take forever, and there's often quite a lot of them. In you go. Twisted transistor, yeah. <laughs> hey you, twisted transistor. Ah, <laughs> oh, Viper, your your sense of humor aligns with my own. I've been making uh, resist jokes when doing resistors as well. Puns are most welcome in here. I'm digging it. Okay, right, we had four resistors and I only see three places to put them. So let's grab our instructions and double check. Okay, so 10K, 10K, 10K. Mm, capac, capacitor, capacitor, switches, display, and our two micros. So I guess we have a spare resistor. And also, again, looking at the, um, the circuit diagram that we have over here, we've only got three resistors there as well. So yeah, I guess we have a spare resistor. They do sometimes give you a couple of extra bits in these electronics kits, so. Right. I keep looking at my laptop preview to see when things are in shot, and I'm like, or I could just look at the live preview. Right. Oh God. <laughs> oh, dead eye viper. You can stay. You can stay here as long as you like. <laughs> Uh, right, what does the instructions... Oh yeah, we've got to, we've got to solder these resistors. Uh, sorry, I'll rephrase that. We have to weld the resistors. This is not a soldering stream, this is a welding stream. It says so in the instructions. <laughs> Mushy, join us. Join us with the puns. Whoop. Ah, uh, that's better. With this, with the extra heat and soldering iron, these guys are just going straight in now. I'm a baddie and I run my soldering iron a little bit too hot, really. It's okay as long as you're quick. Having the soldering iron too hot, you risk damaging the circuit board, but that's only if you're sitting there trying to burn a hole into the thing, you know? So yeah. Okay. Let's trim those dudes down. Resistors, done. Okay, Mr. Instructions, what's next? What Welding, yeah. <laughs> yes, again, for those of you who weren't here at the start, the instructions say, oh no, let's just put it under this one. Uh, we're, we're welding everything. We're welding things in. Okay, so we've welded the resistor, crystal oscillator, and capacitors. Uh, uh, welding two integrated circuits, okay. Don't get the direction right, fine. Okay, so we're, we're putting our micros in. So where were the micros? Here they are. Uh, so these guys need to go a specific way around. I welded too many resistors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, so these guys, we got little half moons on the end of our micros. And we've got little half moons on the board to indicate which way around it goes. You can just see the half moon just under hiding under the capacitor there. So let's plug these two dudes in. We'll do this one first. Right now, I'm probably need to, gonna need to give this guy a bit of GBH. Yeah, we just need to fold this guy down a bit. I'm just gonna do that on the side of the bench. The legs are a little bit too wide, so I'm just gonna fold them in slightly. go. Uh, does that need a bit more? That needs a little bit more. Oh, are you going to go in? Oh my, oh, it's not quite there. There we go. There we go. He's in. Nice. It's uncommon to solder ICs directly onto the board. Normally these kits come with a, so with a chip socket. 
So we need to be a little bit careful for this. Hello Hugh, how's it going? Um, ratings for the streams, yeah. Teen stream is basically, well, my, my, my recommendations for teen stream is, would they say it on The Simpsons? If so, you're okay. Uh, PG is family friendly, so you're expected to entertain kids. And uh, 18 plus is obviously, you know, um, 18 plus is uh, um, more or less no restrictions, so long as it's not actually explicit. So yeah. So my normal gaming streams I normally run on 18 plus just because I like to have a certain uh, degree of um, uh, maturity. However, my electronic stuff, because I record for YouTube quite often and obviously my YouTube channel um, I keep uh, fairly friendly, um, you know, there's, there's no need for me to be on 18 plus for this. So, just get these duck guys all soldered up. There is no language in the work. Well, there is some language in The Simpsons. They say but. You're allowed to say that. Mm. I'll clean my tip a bit. There's a big black splotch on the end of my soldering iron. My welding iron, sorry. I must get my terminology correct for these cheap Chinese kits. Okay. There we go. There's our first micro on the board. And uh, now let's get the other one. Uh, where is he? Whoop. Uh, well, you're not far from the truth, Hugh, because um, you can get very small soldering iron tips, which are known as micro pencils for micro soldering. Um, and yeah, they don't really call those irons because they're so small that you can't really call it an iron. And I've just done a pretty awful job of trying to. Uh, uh, bend the legs in on this on this dude, but we should be okay. There he is. He's fine. Let's flip that over. Can I get the whole thing there just to hold it down? That's a bad idea. Let's just do that. Yeah, and bring that in a bit closer. Uh, this is going to be a watch, Hugh. When we've done it, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be an actual watch. Um, I don't know about a hundred percent smart. I I make no promises of, as to that. It will be um, it will be a smart watch, but smart is a relative word. It will be it will look smart. It will make me look smart for having assembled it. <laughs> There we go. No idea what the watch will actually do. I don't know if it just keeps time or whether it will actually have any kind of functionality in it. That would kind of be interesting to know. That's not... That's hilariously not flat. That's hilariously not flat. Uh, let me see if I can do something about that. Let's see if we can be a bit smart here. That's enough of that. Yeah, no, I'm just putting a, I'm putting way too much heat into the chip. If I try and do that, we're not going to do that again. Okay, right. Those are our ICs done. What is next, Mr. Instructions? Um, welding the Nixie tube and battery buckle. Well, we certainly don't have a Nixie tube for this. I'm guessing, I'm guessing these are the same instructions for a Nixie watch. So. <laughs> Um, no, we've got an LED. Oh man, I wish this was a Nixie watch. Did I bend the corner pins on that? Uh, slightly. I was a baddie though. Uh, right, let's put our LED display in. So this is a, uh, a multi-segment um, LED display. So that guy, this dude got a little bit bent in the packet. Just carefully push those into place. There we go. And that's going to go in there. When I get all the legs lined up at the same time. There we go. Alright, George fell over. I'm, I'm naming my helping hands George. I need a manicure, probably. Right. 
get you, uh, okay, I'm gonna hold that in and just bend the corner legs out there. There we go. You're making a fool of yourself and a fool of me. Now, Phil, please. You I'm using both hands. I don't need both hands. This thing is not exactly heavy. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Roleplay metric. I would like a Nixie tube watch, but... Uh, I, I guess you could wear it on special occasions. It would be a cool thing to have there. I don't know how expensive they are, to be honest. Nixie tubes are amazing, but because they're not mass-produced anymore, they're just so expensive to, to buy. Um, I mean, with modern technology, they're not too difficult to drive because you can get microcontrollers that will generate your high voltage for them and everything. But, yeah, just very expensive to obtain. Mini hard drive watch. <laughs> Right, is the display flat? That's good enough. You can see it's lifting slightly on that corner, but I'm happy with that. Okay, right. Now the what? Now the, uh, the battery. So... Hmm, that's going to go on like that, I believe. And let's put that in like that. Okay, now this guy is just going to soak up a lot of solder. So let's get ready. Let's take another another couple of wines out. SSD watches, yeah. <laughs> Oh, compact flash micro drives. Amazing in their day, but yeah, they can they can go away. Right, let's weld this um, this battery connector in. Let's just get a little bit on there just to hold it in place. There we go, and. How much of that bled through? Oh, that's fine. Nice. That's our battery snap done. Cool. Right, so presumably, next item on the list. Uh, let me see. Welding the two touch switches. Okay. Here's our touch switches. These are actually tactile switches. Ooh, they're very clicky. Here we go. Here comes the click. Extreme click. Did I just destroy everyone's headphones with that? ASMR click. <laughs> Which way round do these go? That way, I would say. Um, well, I had a pizza tonight, Kim, so you can be a baddie if you want. And yeah, the Chinese, that'll be open. No idea how long for. Uh, they'll still be open now, though. They'll probably be there until uh, 8 or 9 o'clock, I'd imagine. Hmm. How do I how do I switch how do I how do I into switch? Oh, it's fine, Hugh. We've been really good over the weekend. We're allowed to be bad once a week. I'm just gonna plier this dude in. I'm going to uh, apply some gentle persuasion. There we go.
I have mechanical switches on my home keyboard, but uh, nothing fancy in the shop. Whoops, I'm bending this dude about a little bit. There we go. Oh, the click is real. <laughs> Still use poverty membrane. Hello, Slinkinage, how's it going? Thanks for the host, my dude. How were the monster hunters? Did you get all the guys? We're making a watch. Huh, I'm concerned that there's some lines there. Oh, that's probably programming stuff. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, programming stuff. Right. Okay, and... Saw that. Still knowing they finished with it. Yeah. But, I don't know, Monster Hunter, it looks like you've been getting on really well with that game, because it's such a, you know, it's kind of a chill out game. Like, you don't have to sit and be making progress in that, you can just be hanging out. It's a very weird, it's a very weird mix between um, single player and multiplayer. Which is cool, in a good way, you know, you can play it either way around. There we go, I think you're here just in time for the big turn on. This is a wristwatch we're making. Right. Loud music. Let me just sort that out. There we go. Okay, right. So, um, okay, that's uh, okay. Installing the shell is next. Let's turn this thing on first and see if it works. Then we'll try and then we'll add in our our fluoresce our very fashionable fluorescent strap and stuff. Okay, let me get my um. Let me get my high quality um, Bexel battery. Mm. Huh? Ah! Look at that! Right, the flicker is real. The flicker is super real. Um, I can't do much about the flickering because that's just my 60 frames camera. Unless I don't want to change it because I might break it. <laughs> right. But uh, it is coming up with stuff. Right, so that says 8001 at the moment. So, um, it's no, there is no flicker IRL. I'm not seeing the flicker. That's the camera picking that up. Okay, let's. Uh, how, how the hell do we program this thing? Um, whoops, wrong control, that was the uh, that was the music, the focus was what I was looking for. Okay, right, debugging instructions. Install the button cells and press two buttons for the restoration of circuits at the same time till it shows 12. Alright. Hmm. Oh, there we go, there's 12. 12? It works! <laughs> right. Okie kokie. So, adjust the hour. Press the right button for three seconds. The two uh, LED tubes of hour and the two points are blinking. They are blinking! <laughs> and then press the left button to set up the hour. Okay, so press the right button for three seconds. One, two, three. Aha, okay. There we go. Okay, so what time is it? It is 19. 19.04. Cool. Press the right button again. Oh, four. There we go, we've set the time. This thing will never stop, I don't think. Okay, uh, right. Uh, confirmation. Press the left button again and exit. Cool. Check the time. Press the left button. Cool. So because this circuit is designed to drive Nixie tubes, it only comes on for an, it only comes on for a couple of minutes. I mean, realistically, you could probably leave that on all the time, and the battery would last a reasonable amount of time. But uh, who cares? So let's decellophane my display. I can't can't have cellophane in my life. That can uh, that can that can not exist anymore. There we go. There we go. 
So let me just show you that on the 30 frames camera, just to see if it comes out a little bit better. There we go. The 30 FPS camera can't see the flicker. So the reason why it flickers like that is the way you, the way you dr drive displays um, from a micro is you drive them with a PWM circuit so the dis it actually flashes the display on and off very quickly so it uses a fraction of the power but because of object because of light permanence your eyes see a steady thing and this is why on um, this is why a lot of digital clocks and alarm clocks and car lights and things like that seem to have a very fast flicker on them because they're actually turning on on and off very quickly so there we go uh, but yeah, my 60 frames a second camera is quick enough just to pick up that flicker. So it's probably not that fast of a flicker. It's probably actually fairly low frequency if my 60 frames camera is picking that up. So yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's tracking time. Good. Okay. Right. Um, okay. Let me see. Blah 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 blah. blah. Cool. All right. So now we've got to make the uh, now we've got to make the body for it. I've got to I've got to fashion my style. Right now, what what do we do? What's what's going on with this? We've got various layers here. Okay, so what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to peel off all of these layers because I think we sort of build up layers across this thing. Oh boy! What was that about needing a manicure, Dead Eye Viper? I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I got nails now. Let's bring focus in by a couple of notches. There we go. Have you thought about putting the screws from the correct side? Yeah, because I, I think I think you, there's a possible that you're right. Okay, let me try not being a baddie. Let me try this one more time. Because I hadn't spotted this bit here, and I was trying to look at this bit here. So, <laughs> right. Just like that. So the problem is these holes don't even line up correctly. Well, they kind of do. Right. Five and four. So let's grab screws. Yes, I can see now that I was being somewhat of a baddie. I was being a, I was being an extreme baddie, and now I understand that. And uh, oh no, we're in the wrong. Mm, mm, nothing, nothing. This is fine. This is fine. We're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. How are you? How is everyone? And we need uh, we need some we need some bolts. Where have my bolts gone? There's one. There they all are. Can we get you to... Yeah, so hang on a sec. If I turn that over, so that's face down on the table. There we go. That's how we're going to do it. There we go. This is going to work. This is going to work. I will wear this watch. I will wear it, it's gonna happen. Okay, so. We've done six, five, then four. Okay, here we go, now it's making sense. Three is identical to four, no it's not. Three is slightly different to four. I think this is where I've been going different, where I've been going wrong, there we go. That goes like that. Then three. Then two. So let's get that dude in. There we go, this is working now. And then one goes on the back. Okay, there we go. 
We did it! <laughs> we didn't do it. The PCB does have to go in between. There we go. Right. How about that? Okay, yeah, see there's nothing obstructing it, but everything is slightly oversized. Does that actually fit? The PCB does. I think... I think the battery hanger might be slightly overhanging. And our frequency crystal definitely is. Is the hot soldering iron still hot? It is. I'm just going to adjust this guy. So the top goes in. However, yeah, the the battery clip is overhanging. Place the watch before putting on two. No, it does drop straight in there. Those are all straight lines into the case there now. So I need to um, I need to adjust the battery strap and push it back a little bit. So let's just see if I can do that. Go. It's only got to go back by like a millimeter. That should do it. Let's set the time again in just a moment. Are you going to work for me now? There we go. There we go. That's done it. That's sorted it. Haha! -ha. Hello again, Superman. Right, okay. Now that guy goes on over the top. And that covers the back of the board. Right, so now we've got to thread our strap. Now I've got to figure out how the strap's going to work. So this is going to be a... It's going to be a that affair. So that's going to go through that. Aha. Okay, now I need my last two bolts, which are down there. There we go. Oh, I'm glad I pursued with that. I was being bad, and then I got good. Well, I was being bad, and then I stopped being quite as bad as I was. Whoops, sorry, camera. Bashing you about there. The problem with having the camera at a very low angle, as I do for this work, is you can't get your screwdrivers in. There we go. Haha. -ha. Okay, here we go, guys. Here comes Super Fashion Watch. Oh, I need to adjust this strap because I've got really girly thin hands. Oh my god, the strap is not adjustable when it's screwed in. There we go. Ah. That'll do it. Ha! How cool am I? Ha <laughs> ha! Right, okay, let's set the time again again. One, two, three. Okay, it's now 1929. I have to press this repeatedly. There we go. And once again, just because uh, you guys are getting big flicker, it is 1929 awesome <laughs> there we go okay we did it now I've got to wear this stupid thing because I said I would so let me just adjust that whoops 
me adjust this just so it's not actually in the way too much. There we go. Right. Watch acquired. We did it. Let's move on. Let's move on to our next project. We've got one more to do. So let's clear up all of this mess. 